Gas Monkey Garage, a business consisting of TV shows, restaurants, a private brand of whiskey, a beverage, sponsored motorsport agreements, and more, was finally born out of Richard Rawlings' youthful enthusiasm for automobiles. Fast and Loud on the Discovery Channel features Richard Rawlings, the businessman in charge of Gas Monkey Garage, and his crew as they restore damaged vehicles into visually appealing, wealthy custom. On wheels, though, it's not all fun and games. The Gas Monkeys were at odds with other programs as well, battled among themselves, and abruptly altered their staff members. It's no secret that a meal is to fast food what reality TV is to eating. Through bizarre participation restrictions, on-set coaching, or just plain dishonest editing, the content that ends up on our screen is as unlike real life as a hamburger is from an animal. It's not quite accurate to say that Richard Rawlings, the sole proprietor of Gas Monkey Garage, was constantly committed to the auto repair industry. In 1999, Rawlings debuted his entrepreneurial career when he founded Lincoln Press, a printmaking firm in Texas. Recognizing itself from other businesses in the same industry, the company provided a wide range of amenities to its clients, including advertising, wrapping, commercial form, garment, and pocketbook folder printing. Lincoln's quick rise to reputation in just a couple of years permitted Rawlings to follow his love of cars, which led him to help found Gas Monkey Garage in the year 2002. At that moment, Rawlings beginning rewarded Lincoln's clients with a raffle of costly automobiles and motorcycle that had clearly been upgraded by his co-owned workshop. Lincoln's strange conduct caught the interest of the local press, which stated in 2004 that a company gave a Ferrari Spider to a client as a reward for surpassing $1 million in sales. Considering all of the achievement, Rawlings sold the business for a price that was not disclosed at the end of 2004 so that he could give all of his attention to Gas Monkey Garage. Lincoln Press remains to operate today, but mostly producing car designs. Among famous people, separation and divorce are not uncommon occurrences, but Rawlings has a more exciting love past than others. Though he has three marriages under his name, just two of them involve women. When his first marriage to Karen Grames fell apart in 1999, he remarried Suzanne Marie Mergill. A decade after their divorce, Rawlings is rather straightforward about what occurred. In a 2015 conversation, he asserted, I'm on a journey, so there are a lot of girls that are out there. This is a frequently recurring incident that took place during the chaotic period when he had been working hard on creating Gas Monkey and Fast and Loud. They reunited and tied the knot again in 2015. Nevertheless, and they continue to remain together today. With numerous individuals watching, it's quite difficult to deal with, but maybe this time it works out. Gas Monkey Garage was undoubtedly rendered famous over the world by Discovery's Fast and Loud series. The actual activity inside Gas Monkey Garage that primarily takes place whereas TV cameras are not there is what viewers of the show want to see though, since Rawlings and his crew have become popular off-screen years before they debuted on TV. Instead of passing up the chance to raise awareness for his cherished company, Rawlings makes intelligent use of innovation to provide additional content for followers. In light of this, Gas Monkey launched its own channel on YouTube in 2012 and has continued sharing unique videos of the shop's endeavors, meetings, and little glimpses of its staff members' daily lives there ever since. In addition, visitors to the Gas Monkey Garage site can click the live cam button to see the operations of the company in the moment which is available to both clients and lovers. A complimentary newsletter is available on the internet to inform followers about the activities and operations of the garage. This is the ideal tool to use if you'd be interested in meeting the members of Gas Monkey during an open gathering. The fully prepared car garage at Rawlings Gas Monkey Garage is designed specifically to breathe vitality into cars that would have been headed for the scrapyard. It has nothing to do with monkeys in the wild. Owners of cars may once more view their repaired antiques in excellent resolution. More importantly, though, is the fact that these restored machines make economic sense. 
Managers of businesses and technicians typically don't have anything in common. By making sure that the operational goals for his gas monkey garage are met while maintaining an eye on the related expenditures, Rawlings combines the two. He worked as an emergency personnel, medical professional, and a policeman before becoming an industry expert. At Gas Monkey Garage, Smith hadn't been the only issue employee. Viewers of the program may have inquired why he and colleague technician Jordan Butler abruptly vanished from view. In summary, Rawlings dismissed both of them on the same day, and for causes other than Tom's constant need to walk outside. Smith provides a fuller account, claiming that he and Butler discussed an event involving one of their boss's expensive automobiles. He reports that a fan showed up at the garage requesting to have their photo taken next to Rawlings' Rolls Royce. He allegedly screamed aloud that they get the hell back from the car, to which Smith replied, chill the damn out. Even though the fan had cystic fibrosis, the men's careers were still in risk. After rising above the ashes, Rawlings reoriented itself in 2004 and started going after the wealthy and powerful. And before he was able to say, monkey, redesigned dead wheels were bringing in $200,000 to $1.1 million for his company. A second chance knocked on his door in the year 2012, this one from the Discovery reality TV show. Reaching even farther, he consented to participate in the Fast and Loud series. On certain occasions, Rawlings lends help to the Richardson Police Department, his previous workplace. Based on his most recent $20,000 gift to the branch, Rawlings is a model citizen who should be followed. His benefactors aren't often well-known celebrities. Rather, they are organizations and people who hold particular significance for him. Given his famous status, Rawlings' entire persona is a brand. The income he earns from his holdings in motor vehicles, lodging facilities, beverage companies, publications, and the news media. In addition to his Gas Monkey Bar and Grill, which is permanently open for business in Dallas, is what supports his monetary prosperity. To enable his worldwide fan base to own many of his GMG artwork and logos, he has even launched a store on the internet. The media's influence seemed to have roused Rawlings' intelligence. He understands that he can accomplish the goals he used to have today and that he will still have them afterwards. He makes a whopping $1,900 per month, for example, from his YouTube channel and an additional $3,000 from promotions on each Instagram upload. A lot of viewers of Loud In Fast and Gas Garage Monkey could remember that in 2013, Richard Rawlings and his co-investor Aaron Kaufman spent $400,000 for a 1991 Ferrari F40. Despite the Ferrari's issues with structure, Gas Monkey's choice to fix up the renowned collector car and change its exterior hue from red to black are what sparked the controversy around this endeavor. Despite spending $300,000 on the project, Gas Monkey Garage clearly created one of the most distinctive Ferraris ever. Reggie Jackson acquired it for an extraordinary $742,500. The following year, he put it up for sale and sold it to Richard Scott, a businessman, for $643,500. The Italian vehicle, though, wouldn't belong to Scott for very long since, in 2017. He entered an agreement to plead guilty to charges of scheme and fraud, and all of his personal effects were taken. After only a few years of ownership and many auctions, the Ferrari was put up for sale once more in February 2019. Rawlings wanted to buy it, but the transaction fell through when the automobile was purchased for $760,000, which was more than the amount Gas Monkey had charged for it a few years earlier. Although Aaron Kaufman, a coster, provided some of the creative power behind Fast and Loud, transforming the show's The Junkers into distinguished, marketable rides, Rawlings provides the show's financial backing and his plus-sized charisma. When he unexpectedly departed the program a year ago, viewers were outraged, but they were even less shocked when he explained that his departure was due to some professional and personal tensions. He thought that the TV format was restricting his creativity, 
though he had other reasons as well. Kaufman bases his desired modifications on the quite comprehensive Ford Pantera conversion from season eight of the program. In a statement, Kaufman stated, I intended to develop cars, which were that big or even bigger, but TV needed cars that were much more compact than that. But nobody actually goes away from Gas Monkey. They simply have their own shows. In March, Discovery will premiere his latest production, Shifting Gears, 